Thank you, Maritza, and thank you to everyone on this call who has worked so hard over the last year to uh, get this bill as far as it's gotten so far. Uh, most of all, thank you to the workers who uh, have uh, come out and told their stories and suffered through the last year. Uh, we have had many press conferences, some in person, uh, mostly virtual because of the pandemic. Uh, and we have one more step to go uh, in getting this legislation done. It has now passed the Senate twice. It's passed the Assembly. Uh, and it is just waiting for the governor's signature. Uh, we can finally have the legal protections that uh, workers uh, require. We know that many people died over the last year because of unsafe working uh, environments. Uh, employers that were not taking basic precautions as it relates to uh, PPE usage, social distancing, air filtration, all the things that we uh, know are very common tactics that we use to avoid uh, spread of COVID right now. There were workplaces that were simply not uh, taking appropriate steps to implement those kinds of things over the last year. And people died as a, as a result, many people. Um, this bill would very clearly uh, just uh, set up uh, requirements that the Departments of Labor and Health would set up, uh, that employers would uh, put in place. Uh, it would set up workplace committees uh, that employees would be able to use to opine and monitor com compliance. Uh, and it would go a long way, as Maritza said, uh, towards setting the tone nationally for the kind of measures required to protect uh, people, not just the workers, but also customers at some of these businesses uh, at a time of, uh, of a pandemic related to an airborne infectious disease. So uh, let's get the last step done. Uh, let's get the governor's signature on this bill. And then we could have one last press conference to celebrate uh, the enactment of the law. Thank you all very much.